Hey, this is Chris and Lamb of God. You're watching Rock and Metal News. Hey guys, this is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News with a Rock and Metal News album review of the new Byzantine. The album is called The Cicada Tree. It's going to be out through Metal Blade Records on July the 28th, 2017. Vocalist guitarist Chris stated, After 17 years of writing music for Byzantine, I know to let it just come as it may. I never really know what the songs are going to sound like or even the direction they might take. My main focus is to always experiment and push the parameters that have been pushed by past Byzantine albums without straying too far from the original goal. The band features new drummer Matt Boyles, ex Our Malignant Beloved, guitarist Brian Hendo Henderson, and bassist Sean Sidnor have put out a crushing release to follow up 2015's To Release Is To Resolve. Chris added, the first few albums you're trying to find your sound and sometimes you tend not to see the forest from the trees. Now on album number six, it seems a calmness took hold during the songwriting process, possibly from just having more confidence in our sound. At this point, our fans expect us to experiment and push our boundaries, which is extremely liberating feeling. I stopped writing the album at seven songs, thinking we were going to re-record an old song as well as add to covers. But our engineer, Jay Hannon, told me the album didn't feel complete and I needed to keep pushing myself. I took his advice to heart and wrote Incremental and The Subjugated pretty quickly. And while in the studio, Hendo's jazzy solo was the cherry on the top for Incremental, it's actually one of my favorite tracks on the album and it started out is essentially as a filler song. Regarding lyrical content, uh, Chris teamed up with friend Jamie P. Rakes, who had helped uh, ghostwrite the last few Byzantine releases. The Cicada Tree includes songs about relationship woes, political issues, alien intervention, and more. The album title and the song of the same name is drawn entirely from an event Chris experienced in his home state of West Virginia in 2016. The 17-year cicada cycle, it's a type of locust that lies dormant underground for 16 years, only to emerge in the 17th year, and it then lives for three months above ground to morph, mate, give birth, and die. We had a swarm of roughly 1,000 cicada in my front yard underneath a small tree. While looking for potential album titles, Chris's girlfriend suggested The Cicada Tree. Byzantine was coming on its 17th year of existence, and just like The Cicada, we spent the last 16 years underground, so The Cicada Tree is a metaphor for the lifespan of the band Byzantine. So let's get into the uh, track review. I want to touch on some of the songs. The first one is... The new, uh, new Ways to Bear Witness. Nice, epic, heavy intro in this track. The riff kicks in, and the first thought is how great Chris's vocals are. A very groovy track. Nice shredding guitar solo after the first verse. Chris's vocals are so powerful and dynamic. Great song production-wise, lyrically and structurally as well. Song number three, Map of the Creator. This starts off, starts off soft. Vocals are clean with great tone. Sparse guitar and drums to start it off. The song starts to build about a minute in. Some nice tom fills and beats on the toms. At the two minute mark, all hell breaks loose as the song transitions into heaviness. The screams start up with the heavy guitar. And uh, it's such a great song. It features some cleans and screams showcasing the lighter side and heavier side of the band. Song number five, Trapjaw. Why do some people refer to this band as groove metal? Well, Trapjaw is the exact reason why. It reminds me a bit of a Meshuggah track as well. It's got that really heavy, crunchy feel. Uh, this has more of a melodic feel though as well. And Chris moves from verse to pre-chorus and chorus with such finesse. A very heavy, groovy track. Such amazing song structure. And the guitar moves some short, crunchy notes to huge chords. Just an amazing song. And another song I want to touch on is The Cicada Tree. The title track opens with some clean guitar picking and some light chords, guitar chords, making a very atmospheric and dynamic sound. The uh, 
riffs just pull you in. They're just like a crawling riff uh, as the vocals start off. The song tells a great story and really uses dynamics to keep the listener engaged. Vocals are definitely highlighted in this song. The solo is very well laid out as well and fits the track well as Brian just makes his guitar sing. Overall, this album is fantastic. I love it. I love the dynamics. I love the lyrics. Um, the way they keep the songs interesting on every track. Definitely pick this one up. It is just a super great album. So a Byzantine, The Cicada Tree, out on July the 28th through Metal Blade Records. You will not be disappointed for sure. This is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News. Thanks for tuning in.